hi everyone in this uh, video uh, i will talk about how we can calculate the probability of a stock to go up or down for the next coming day so here we will use the historical data on that stock and from that we can predict the future price so here uh, let's uh, go to yahoo finance and i'm looking at the stock of apple so if on the left column i can click on historical prices and then uh, I can see that it give me the price of every day since 1984 in this sheet. So I don't need uh, this much of uh, the price uh, uh, detail. So I'll let's take the value for last uh, five years approximately. So I'm uh, instead of here uh, 1984, I'm putting 2000. Uh, no, this is um, 1007. And now I say get price. So now it give me a new price uh, uh, details. And then I can go down and say uh, download to spreadsheet. So this give me all these numbers uh, uh, like this. I can select these numbers, copy them, and then paste them in an actual sheet. Now this uh, values right now are uh, copied as text so we need to come convert them to the uh, data so if you go to data and say text to column and then uh, i'll say uh, delimited and select comma because this data is comma separated and then say finish right now i have all these columns uh, with different uh, uh, values for open price high price low price close price so now uh, i'll get rid of all these columns and just lift with the close price and now what I can do is I can calculate what was the percentage change in the stock value of every day so for that I will divide the present value with the value from the last day and that will give me uh, so 0.966 so the value of the stock remained 96.6 percent uh, after uh, on November 2nd as compared to uh, November 1st so I can calculate the percentage by doing uh, uh, subtracting 1 from this number and then multiplying by 100 so that suggests that uh, there was 3.3 percent decrease in price of Apple on November 2nd and I can do same thing for all the historical prices and click uh, double click here and it copied and you can see that the price change was different on all these different dates now let's do the counting uh, how many data points we have so I say one two and then select and then click like this and now let's take only the first thousand uh, data points so I'll go down and see that whenever I have my thousand data points are complete I'll get rid of all the other data points so now I have total thousand data points and uh, so what I'll do again is I'll divide this uh, number in column H by thousand and then uh, I'll copy again and I get this 0 0.001, 0 0.002, 0 0 0.003 like this. And then I copy this uh, percentage change column and then uh, paste it in a special way because I don't want the formula, I just want the values. I say paste only values here and I got this values. And now I select this column. Until here and say uh, sort so it sorts the data uh, so you can see that the maximum change in the stock price in last uh, around five year was uh, 6.7 percent decrease and same way the uh, increase side it was 12.55 percent increase and uh, so right now I have not sorted it according to the date so I don't know which date it was because I'm not concerned about the date I'm just concerned about uh, the movement of the stock uh, during the past five years now what I can do is now this is my uh, percentage change percentage change 
and this is my cumulative distribution function or the probability so so i can plot uh, these two let me let me move this here and now i can plot these two functions to these two columns and get uh, this cumulative distribution function for stock of apple this curve could be difficult so i can also do or write a function here so i can use lookup command so i'll say let's uh, assume that we want to calculate the probability of point, uh, 0.5 so i'll say lookup um, and then i select uh, this value because i want to look up uh, 0.5 and then I'll select this uh, column and then this is my result column so my result column will be uh, on, uh, we'll put it like uh, 0.7 here right now so so there is a 70 percent so so you can see that there is a 30 percent chance because 1 minus 0.7 is 3.3 3. so there is a 30 percent chance that the stock will return a gain of more than 0.9697 percent or about one percent so it, will, it can return more than one percent on a coming day based on uh, this historical data so uh, if i put it 0.8 so i can say that there is a 20 percent chance that the stock will return 1.5 more than 1.53 percent in the coming days so now uh, i have just uh, uh, rearranged these numbers and if i say 20 here then the percentage chances of probability that stock will gain more than 1.53 percent on the next day and if I say 10%, uh, then there is a probability that it will gain 2.5 to 3%. So the chances are only 10%. So this can be a handy way to calculate the probability uh, of uh, the stock gaining a particular price in the coming day.